Okay, in the previous segment we talked about um, the pressure field which exists on the left hand side or the incident side of the wave. Now we will go towards the and then that is what we said that a standing wave will be there. Okay. And now if we go to the other side, uh, I think last time we also wrote that, um, that uh, the intensity uh, of I incident wave was say A1 square over uh, 2 rho naught C. Uh, rho 1 I will write right because C1 I reflected was uh, B1 squared over 2 rho 1 C1 and I transmitted was A2 squared over 2 rho 2 C2 right. So, that is what uh, from definition basically ok. Now, then we derived um, at least I wrote that uh, sorry um, that alpha uh, reflection uh, we calculated it to be um, rho 2 C 2 minus rho 1 C 1 over rho 2 C 2 plus rho 1 C 1 uh, this whole square ok. And yeah, and then second thing which we, I do not remember whether I had written that or not, uh, did we calculate that A2 will come out to be A1 times 2 rho 2 C2 over rho 2 C2 plus rho 1 C1, ok. We wrote it like that. And from there, we also saw that alpha transmitted. Uh, can be you know so uh, so this will be this by this so there will be a ratio of rho 2 c2 to rho 1 c1 so in in this no they got cancelled out because both incident and reflected were having the same rho 1 c1 in their denominator though so they can, got cancelled but here they will survive and from there so i'll write here just i transmitted by I incident which you will get to be uh, 4 rho 2 C 2 rho 1 C 1 over rho 2 C 2 plus rho 1 C 1 square. Okay. Now, if you uh, again consider the cases where um, suppose again air to water. Now, what this equation tells you is or the first thing is again this is real though we had started with complex here again we are seeing that it is real that means there is no phase again between the incident and the uh, transmitted wave ok. And then suppose rho 2 C 2 is much much higher value than rho 1 C 1. So, this can simply be neglected as compared to this in the denominator. So, they will cancel out. So, 2 times A1. Now, what does that mean? So, that means see uh, in the previous drawing here some wave came pressure wave. Uh, it saw water it was coming from air and the wave that got reflected back was again uh, the same amplitude. So, the pressure uh, which was existing was 2 times that. So, this side the same 2 times of that wave will be there right A1 almost we are again talking about that limit condition this this limit condition. So, on this side this is the single wave. So, here these 2 waves together built it, but this side it is a single wave there is no other wave to build that. So, that will have its amplitude like that. So, there is no way out. So, its amplitude that is why is coming out to be that um, 2 times in the limit you see of A1. But then if you see here, uh, let us take uh, the example of water and air and if you put the values, so that is what I had told you to do. If you put the values here um, of water and air, you will get I think 0 for the value. Um, yeah. 
0 0.00112 okay so for air to air to water okay transmission in fact um, if you if you see from the transmission perspective or even from the reflection perspective because squares are involved so the energy transmission is same from either side if you think in terms see uh, that, that's the beauty of energy um, thinking uh, it was so difficult to talk about pressure and uh, particle velocities uh, when waves were coming from one side to the other lot of different things were happening but here uh, whether you use from water to air or what uh, air to water these values will remain exactly same right neither this will change nor this will change because we are using the square so that means the energy uh, transmitted or reflected will be exactly the same whatever may be the case now for example this what uh, does it mean and, and it, so that means you see this a very very small amount of energy is getting transmitted this is the ratio right so that means 0.1 percent of energy is getting transferred so now you are in a position to talk in terms of db also this is a coefficient this is the pressure or power transmission coefficient this is the power reflection coefficient but now you can in fact talk talk in terms of levels what is the reduction transmission um, means in in db can you express this yeah because 10 log of this will come out to be around minus 30 dB. So there will be a 30 dB reduction um, if you are actually going from air to water or water to air. Now this is what we were talking about the um, inefficient way of power transmission when there is a huge mismatch between uh, the impedances and characteristic these are characteristic impedances right of the mediums. So this is characterized by I mean characterizing one medium and this the other and the difference of them actually is creating all things and that is how that everything is getting reflected back and hardly anything is getting transmitted so that is the inefficient way of so whenever you don't want energy to be transferred across you should have as many as possible impedance impedance mismatches as high as possible and whenever you want energy to be transferred then you see this if you make them almost equal so this becomes almost zero that means hardly any energy is getting reflected back everything will be because this is nothing but one minus this only because whatever energy is coming either is getting reflected back or getting transmitted so when this becomes almost zero so this will become almost one so irrespective of say uh, they could be completely different materials this row 1 c1 uh, a row 1 could be completely different than row 2 and c1 from c2 but if the products are almost equal okay so they are two different things if the products are almost of the equal uh, magnitude you will get a transmission of uh, acoustic energy okay and uh, yeah so i was giving the example of uh, that uh, ultrasound right when you put that um, gel so that is actually doing some sort of thing so for matching the impedances the row 1 c1 value it tries to match uh, with that of the human um, flesh so so that maximum energy can be transferred from the ultrasonic transducer to the body okay hmm. so this was about transmission and then this uh, point should be um, very clearly kept in mind that um, 
from either side it the situation is that bad and this this is called the um, acoustic reciprocity and this is a very general um, concept that means if you have a source here and a receiver here so and then whatever is there in between okay doesn't matter uh, if you change their positions if you make the source you bring the source here and receiver here the effect will be exactly the same okay so there is um, means whatever happens from this side that same thing will happen from this side and that's called the acoustic reciprocity and and um, uh, there are some special uh, materials now people are developing called meta materials which are violating this thing and and that topic is a very now very hot topic now it's called acoustic diodes like in electric circuits diodes do what they they transfer energy from only from one side other side are blocked so they are trying to build such materials so that this acoustic reciprocity will not be valid from this side energy will propagate but if you just shift the other one so from this side no energy will be propagated so those are called acoustic diodes for that so so they are not normal materials so so very specialized um, configurations are made to to achieve such kind of uh, abilities in two materials okay otherwise this is the fact anything else i wanted to say about this yeah i think that's it uh, for this um, zone that is the transmitted zone of the acoustic power okay we'll stop here for this segment